Hi, I'm Joe from Garmin. Select Garmin devices have a new feature called Training Load. In this video, we are going to discuss how it is measured and what it means. The foundation of Training Load and many other Garmin First Beat features is a concept called EPOC. E-P-O-C refers to Excess Post-Exercise Oxygen Consumption, and it is the heart of how Garmin evaluates your running, riding, swimming, or other exercise. EPOC is sometimes referred to as the afterburn of exercise. It is a good measure of the amount of energy your body must expend to recover. Previously, to measure EPOC effectively, you needed time and sophisticated lab equipment. Now FirstBeat has developed a method for predicting EPOC during exercise using your heart rate information. To give you an idea of what EPOC values look like, a 45-minute run at 75% of maximum heart rate results in an EPOC value of about 50. For very light exercise efforts, less than 65% of maximum heart rate, EPOC accumulates very slowly, but at high intensities, it shoots up quickly. In fact, it is possible in only 15 minutes of moderately hard exercise to get higher EPOC than from a whole hour of light effort. Of course, there is a place for both kinds of exercise in a well-rounded training plan. Since EPOC is a great quantitative measure of exercise, it is also an appropriate way to look at overall training load. Garmin's new training load feature shows you how hard you've been working by giving you the sum of your estimated EPOC for the last seven days of training. You can see your training load on your compatible Garmin device or on Garmin Connect, where it is also plotted over time. This feature also shows if your recent training load has been within your optimal range, where you can expect to maintain or improve your fitness without overdoing it. The optimal training load range is shown as a band on compatible Garmin products and on Garmin Connect. But how is your optimal training load range determined? FirstBeat, a leader in physiological analytics for sports, has a new algorithm that examines your current training and your training history and fitness level. This data determines the optimal training load range for you. That means as your fitness level and training habits change, your recommended optimal training load will also change. Now that you know all about EPOC and how your training load is calculated, you can keep an eye on it and stay in your personal sweet spot. For more information about physiological metrics and how to use them to your advantage, check out the other videos in this series.